Hey there guys, Zach here from Inbeta, and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 10125. This build includes a number of features and enhancements over the last public preview build, which was 10,122. However, this is an unleaked and unreleased build as of recording this, so uh, this is kind of a first look at what to expect in the upcoming builds. Now, surprisingly, there are a few changes in this build. It may only be three builds newer than build 10,122, but there are an, a fair few changes and good changes at that as well. So, uh, diving straight in, the first noteworthy changes are in the start menu. You may not notice, but down here, the all apps area now, have, when you download a new app, you get a little indicator that says there's a new app in there, and clicking on it will well, obviously, obviously take you to the apps list in which you can uh, find said apps. Uh, there's the network beta app, which was something that has uh, shown up in the Windows Store in the past, however it doesn't look to work. Nice Microsoft logo there, just to remind you that this is a Microsoft operating system. But that's not really the interesting thing. The interesting thing is in the settings app. Now, bear in mind, performance may be an issue in this build as I am running this in a virtual machine. So I do not worry about the slowness of the operating system. You can't really make a fair judgment whilst it's in a virtual machine. Now, if we go into the personalization area and go down to start, you'll notice that the customized list now works, meaning you can finally pin things to the start menu, not just in the tiles area, you can pin it to the actual menu bit as well. So for example, as you can see here, right now I have the file explorer and settings app pinned. However, if I scroll down, let's pin downloads and music. You'll see here that downloads and music both show up. Right now there isn't an icon for it on the start menu, so you just get a nice smiley face. But the functionality is finally there, which is fantastic. Now, if we go into the File Explorer, you may notice, and down here as well, there is a, there's a few new icons. The File Explorer, as well as, oh, that's not what I wanted, as well as all of the icons by the looks of things, have been updated to have much more of a Windows 10 feel. They look nice, I think. They're, they definitely get my approval. They are what one would call fairly nice, which is great. But yes, that's pretty much it for um, the icons. Actually, that's a lie. If we take a look at, if we drag this PC to there, you can see it in a lot more detail, the new PC icon, I believe. Let's do large icons. Let's make these extra large as well, so you can see them in all of their glory. Uh, where is it? View, extra large. There they are, all the documents, desktop, downloads, hard drive icons, and then you will see this PC icon here as well. We go into tablet mode, uh, you'll notice that the back button is finally um, showing up on the taskbar. The universal back button, which has been seen in a number of the concepts. It works like you would expect, it's a back button. So if we go into the settings app and open up, I know, an area in which we can press the back button. Let's go into this update and security. Let's press back. And it takes you back. So if we go into another area here, let's go into advanced options, press back, takes us back one and press it again, take us back to the home. That works in all the apps. Let's try another app just to prove to you it does work in all the apps. Let's open music and see how the back button works there. We, again, this is running in a virtual machine, so do not judge the performance there you go press oh well if you press back at the home directory it takes you to the home the start screen much like it does on windows phone so the functionality between windows phone and the and windows 10 tablets is the same when it comes to the back button holding it doesn't do anything so there you go if you keep pressing back it just takes you back and forth and stuff much like the windows phone uh edition of the uh Operating system. So that the back button, there's two back buttons now. There's a back button up there and a back button down here. That's interesting. So that's really it. Also, the new apps icon thing when it says new down by the apps list, there's a little icon appears here as well in tablet mode. So uh, that's pretty nice. However, I can't show you that as I've already clicked on tablet mode. But yes, that appears to be it for this build. So, like I said, uh, a nice collection of changes in this build uh I, the changes in this build are very good uh the ui adjustments are great the more and more tweaks and final improvements are finally being made to the operating system as windows 10 is supposed to rtm in a month or two months now so not long left and uh yes yeah, so the finalized ui is starting to take place 
So there you have it guys, that's a quick look at Windows 10 build 10,125. Thanks so much for watching and I shall see you in the next one. Bye bye.